Serial Podcast. Hey friends, uh, it's your pal, T. Martin Street Shark, and I'm here again from the Soul Material Podcast, and we're giving you another post-game show. So in a previous episode, you heard us talk about, um, you know, East Bay and some purchases that we might have made over the phone, so I had to throw on my bucket hat again. Um, shout out to my friends and families over at the Washington Wizards, um, just to go back in time and show you, um, you know, uh, you know, art acquisition uh, specialty before it was even a thing um, to acquire some shoes uh, directly from East Bay. So um, shout out. So you we'll give you more details in the East Bay uh, episodes, but unfortunately East Bay is no more. So we're just paying homage uh, um, to, um, you know, classic uh direct to uh consumer you know like direct mail catalogs and and that era uh um you know was a time of its own so just wanted to uh give you um some extra overtime with the post game show um uh, and dive into a particular shoe uh for me um that's special to me for again the snapshot in time um but um you know so let's just dive into it so right here um i have the nike air Terra Sir Tig, all right, um, 1998, all right, this is the OG, got this directly from East Bay, all right, um, actually, I'll show you the box in a second, so another thing that was special about this particular shoe, because it's actually my natural size, and one of the first shoes I was actually able to acquire in my natural size, which is a 12 and a half, they did not sell 12 and a half regularly in stores, um, so yeah, this was like one of the first places I could actually get my infamous 12 and a half. So let's just take a look. As you can see, it's the real deal, baby. Um, so this is the real. You can see um, the light catching it a little bit. I know it's the white. It's not uh, catching all the details. But as you can see, the leather, look at that leather from afar. Like, I really wore these shoes, um, you know, so there's real wear on these um but still for someone who wore them in the original the original shoe that came out in 1998 this is still great condition i'd love to see what some of everyone else's stuff looks like uh with this um so yeah even not even the, the zoom air still uh the signs in there even though it's kind of cracked up as you can see there the blue's a little faded from from the wear but again this was such a classic shoe so if you were um with my crew in, in high school, we were all Terra, ACG, you know, the uh, Terra Certi, Terra Humera, like that was a staple for our crew. Um, so if you know, you know, shout out to NCU. Um, and we will, uh, you know, we got the little carbon fiber uh, plate right there, or it's more like that little shank that looks like the Bo Jackson. But anyway, um, really good, really good hold up. So you get to see, that was the left shoe. It's the right shoe. Um, so you get to see some details. This shoe, the right shoe probably took more wear because you can see some cracks in there. And then there's a little crack in there. And then this is where there's actually some soul separation too, right? So we're just giving you the real. <laughs> We've been doing this. I've really been into sneakers. I didn't just start a couple years ago. Same with the uh, our co-host, the OGEO. Uh, Kevin Bailey, you know, we really were there. So 1998, Sir Tig, OG, purchased from East Bay. All right. So I hope you know it's, it look, <laughs> you know, it's even more real because it came in one of these boxes. All right. Still got the OG box. There you go. 12 and a half Nike. Oops. Nike Terra Sir Tig. All right. So, and then furthermore, you know, you have to, in case some of you actually never saw this box before, this is what they used to used to look like. Again, my light doesn't pick up the white very well on here, but this is actually an East Bay tag. Um, it's kind of faded, so even if I put it up close, you might not be able to see everything. I don't think so. Um, because, um, so this was the stock tag for the warehouse, I guess, that had the, the name on it, style number, um, with their own tag that a lot of retailers used to do probably more for storage and inventory purposes to pull this off shelves and put them in boxes rather than uh, just looking at the label because it's the same information with the style number that's on there. Um, but last thing I just wanted to share um, was the original receipt. 
All right. So actually just put some stickies on here just to redact uh, the personal information. But as you can see, let that light adjust real quick. As you can see, there goes the logo, the East Bay logo. And just so you know, it's real. What's that date say? 12, 19, 1998. All right. Um, as a matter of fact, oh, let me look at this. You know what? I purchased another shoe at the same time. Air Max Plus as well is on here. So 1998, I had an Air Max Plus, which is the tuned air at that time. It was the black and red. And then, and then I got these. Um, so again, this was, you know, you had to call them on the phone and get mom's credit card <laughs> and uh, order them up. Uh, so not many people had a size 12 and a half um, um, around my way. So again, we got a physical receipt. Look at that. I'm surprised that the ink is still still on here. Uh, uh, um, you know, some of my old store receipts, I could I keep all the receipts. Some of my receipts have faded like the, the picture and um, <laughs> Marty McFly uh, back to the future. So it's just a white piece of paper by now. So again, just saving everything. Uh, 1998 um, purchase from East Bay, original box, 1998 Nike Air Sirtig. All right. This is a classic shoe. I could never get rid of this. Yeah, I don't care if I try to sell it or not. This 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 holds too many memories uh, for me to ever like get rid of. Now I probably gotten rid of like damn near everything else. Um, but these right here, um, these are classic. So if you know, you know, uh um the Nike Air Sirtig is an East Bay purchase. You'll never be able to call up East Bay and talk to them on the phone and or send in that check where you ripped out the middle of the, of the East Bay catalog where they had the envelope uh, in there um, and you rip that out, put your check in there, seal it up, you know, write in the style number of what you wanted um, and then um, send it off. Um, so that was, again, just, a, just a, what a time to be alive. <laughs> um, so, um, so we'll just keep this one uh, short and sweet. For the post game show, just wanted to show off. Uh, we really lived it. We were there. Nike Air uh, Terra Certic, 1998. Shout out to East Bay. All right. Who knew that, you know, a hub in Wisconsin would have been running the show in the sneaker and athletic apparel? Uh, uh, industry. So shout out to East Bay. Um, so many memories from the um, you know, the cover art uh, to all the different classic pieces uh, um, of the athletes that were featured um, throughout the magazine and multiple magazines that you got to have access to. Um, we talk more about it in the episodes, but again, just showing homage to East Bay. Um, this was um, a very treasured purchase of mine because, um, again, one of my first 12 size 12 and a half purchases came directly from east bay so i just wanted to show that off so there you go nike air terra certig 1998 showing homage to east bay all right so um again uh there's no more east bay uh moving forward because they have shut down their operations and have converted to champ sports because that was the uh, umbrella company, Champ Sports and Footstar Inc. Uh, that runs Champs and Foot Lockers and all that good stuff. So um, Champs is kind of taking over the branding for East Bay um, as of 2023. So thanks again uh, for tuning in uh, to the Soul Material Podcast. Um, so till next time, friends. See you on the other side. <laughs>